good evening all of you today one small topic rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis many undergraduates are having doubt with respect to this topic they are getting it confused with the crescentic glomerulonephritis today i went for one ug seminar where i took this class few students who didn't come for the class have requested to upload this topic so that the concepts for them to be clear mostly the ug students might try to study it from harrison but once you see in the harrison this is what it is given rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis is a syndrome arising from variety of causes the definition is not clear directly pathologically is associated with some proliferation confusing even another place where they have mentioned is diagnosed clinically here also there is no proper definition so for the undergraduates you are not it exposed to do exposed to core concepts of nephrology might get confused if they directly touch harrison so before understanding what is rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis the student have to be aware what is rprf it is rapidly progressive renal failure this is rprf what is this concept of rpr to simplify for the undergraduate students whenever there is insult to the kidney kidney will go for some kind of dysfunction and if we take the timeline of occurrence of the insult and the duration of renal dysfunction if it occurs less than 7 days we label it as acute kidney injury if it occurs more than 3 months it is called as ckd and few students are having doubt why the 3 months period is kept to say as ckd it is because because uh, the duration of 3 months during that period kidney might have underwent enough damage the chances of recovery is very 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 less because the kidney mostly goes into a state of fibrosis the glomerular interstitium all might get fibrosed the chance of recovery is little bit rare or very difficult so that's why they have taken the 3 month duration why particularly 3 months why not 4 months because of various studies which has done before that is why they have taken this particular time criteria 3 months it is very important for your exams as a ug pg or a dm student but once you come clinically the duration specifically says the kidney might not recover then you label it as ckd so what if the duration is between 7 days and 3 months what if it is between 7 days to 3 months this area this is called as rapidly progressive renal failure the kidney is rapidly progressing into state of non reversibility there is some injury aka can recover after 3 months kidney might not recover so that is why the terminology is rp or of rapidly progressing into ckd that is why it is called as rapidly progressive renal failure time duration is between 7 days to 3 months so for the undergraduates to make it clear rapidly progressive renal failure is nothing but renal dysfunction occurring between 7 days to 3 months so less than 7 days you call it as acute kidney injury more than 3 months is ckd this is rp rf but once you take the kidney what are all the four important components as i always say to the undergraduate students keep it simple one is glomeruli second one is interstitium third one is blood vessels fourth one is tubules the damage can occur anywhere if the damage is here then also kidney will go for dysfunction for example glomerulonephritis 
any kind of glomerulonephritis. Hypertension or blood vessel mediated like thrombotic microangiopathy, acute interstitial nephritis, acute tubular necrosis, all can cause renal dysfunction. But out of this, which is very common, is glomerular involvement, which causes rapid deterioration of the renal function. So, four important components are glomerular, interstitium, tubular, and the vascular. So, all involvement can cause RPRF, any kind of renal dysfunction. So, RPRF is an umbrella term under which RPGN comes. If the renal dysfunction is secondary to glomerular involvement, then you call it as rapidly progressive glomerular nephritis. Suppose if it because of interstitium, yes, RPRF can occur. Because of obstruction, yes, it can occur. Because of blood vessel involvement, it can occur. But which is very, very common because of the glomerular involvement. There are so many diseases starting from post streptococcal glomerular nephritis, SLE, IG nephropathy, the list expands. Since the level of discussion is for the undergraduate students, I am stopping it to only to the conceptual understanding of this RPGN. So, RPRF, rapidly progressive renal failure is an umbrella term. RPRF is an umbrella term. If under which only glomeruli involved, because of the glomerular diseases, the kidney is going for rapid dysfunction. It is called as rapidly progressive glomerular nephritis. Now we will go into the definition. What is the definition of this RPGN? So RPGN is a clinical syndrome manifested by features of glomerular disease and by progressive loss of kidney function over a short period. They have mentioned it as days to weeks or few months. But for the undergraduate level, just remember 7 days to 3 months. So, what is the proper definition? It is nothing but clinical syndrome manifested by features of glomerular disease. The evidence will be there. And there will be progressive loss of renal function occurring over a short period of time. Days, weeks or few months. But this in varied textbook, you will might get varied time period but as per the standard at least for the UG level 7 days to 3 months is enough. Next to make the student understand what is crescentric glomerulonephritis we will see. So this is a diagrammatic representation of a glomeruli where where there will be blood vessel entering blood vessel exiting here it's a bowman capsule there will be a lot of capillaries if we do the cut section and see under the microscope this is how it will appear that is a diagrammatic representation or cartoon representation here is the actual histopathological hematoxin and use in stain there will be capillary loops mesangium this is the bowman's capsule outside urinary space for example, blood vessel will come and go like this. But why the name crescentric GN occurs? This is the moon where because of the faces of the moon you are having these kind of crescent formation. So what the pathologists thought once they are seeing this uh, kind of rapid deterioration in the microscope since it is the glomeruli yeah, at least for the diagrammatic representation, the problem is occurring somewhere in the glomeruli. So, there will be damage over here in varied disease, either glomerular basement membrane, endothelium or photocyte. Wherever the problem, there will be immune-mediated immune attack. These green color things are the inflammatory cells. So, whenever there is a damage, once the inflammatory cells start coming and entering into the glomeruli, there will be a lot of attack. What happens? 
inflammatory cells comes here the green color area it form a moon shaped structure so this is the diagrammatic representation we will see in the actual histopathology it will appear like this it will appear like a crescent because of the inflammatory cell entering into the glomerular bowman's area where there is a proliferation of some particular cells so that is why it is called as crescentric glomerulonephritis pathologically but clinically what might be because of any disease it is a broad term rapidly progressive glomerular disease so clinically it is called as rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis pathologically it is called as crescentric glomerulonephritis what are the etiology which can cause there are many etiology since the today i am keeping it simple for the ug students so this is the concept of rpgn further you can study from your textbook if you understand this it will be easy for you to go through harrison or any other textbook and this level of understanding might be good enough for a ug student if you want to proceed with further types and all i'm happy to upload another video but today we will stop here so this video basically i was uploading for that student who have requested okay bye bye